Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video, I am DCSK. In this video, I'm gonna show you the ultimate guide to farm the top raided gilded hub crossbow in Insane Hunt. There are many more gilded items you can farm from this guide, like spear, glaive, heavy crossbow and skater crossbow. It will drop their unique variants. The first thing you need to know is which rune to summon the Insane mob that have a chance to drop this item. It is the L3T rune to summon the ancient pestilent conjurer. Now you can start to farm the item that assigned with this rune. Just farm rare or common item is enough. I highly don't recommend you to farm unique item for this rune. The drop rate is much lower and it will take more time to farm it. There are many items that assigned with this rune. I have filtered it which and where so you can find it much more easier and faster. Now here's the table. Okay, first Let's get the rune that you need to summon the Ancient Pestilent Conjurer. For artifact, the L rune. You can get it on 3 types of artifact from many map. For melee weapon, the T rune. You can get it on many types of weapon from many map. For the 3 rune, you can get it on either armor or ranged weapon from many map. Alright, you just need 3 items to summon the Ancient Pestilent Conjurer. It is super easy to farm as the required rune is on many items and it drops from many map. But what is the best map to farm for all this? -na 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 -na. It is the creepy creep. It drops everything you need. It drops pickaxe and sword for the T rune. If you can get bow and hunter armor assigned with the tree rune, then you can go for 9 maximum point. After finish the map, it will have a chance to reward you, full of swiftness or go scrub for the L rune. It doesn't matter if you cannot get both bow and armor on your run. As long as you get the required rune, 6 point is good enough for a quick run. Other than creepy creep, creeper wood, pumpkin pasture, arch haven is also a good choice you can farm at. It drops similar items that you need to summon the instant pestilent conjurer. And please bear in mind that no combination of the 2A and N rune on armor offering. The rune combination will summon another or more instant mob and it will lower down your chance to farm the guild item that you want. So never never do this, it is a bad idea. So to farm all these items faster, choose the difficulty that you can one shoot with your ranged weapon. If you're unsure, then select the easiest difficulty. If your power level is at 250, then Apocalypse plus 10 is a good choice. Then equip armor and artifact that increase movement speed. Melee weapon with prospectors and chairman. It is not necessary to have this. If you have it, it is a bonus. So you can earn some emerald while farming item. And hub crossbow. If you don't have hub crossbow, lightning hub or skater crossbow will do. With hub crossbow, you can kill much faster. You can also buy this item from merchant, check it out from time to time and restock if you have some emerald. If you see the specific item you want, just buy from them and don't restock too many times. It will cost you a lot unless you are rich. If you want to earn a lot of emerald and experience, you can check out my video. It is right up here or down there at the description. Make sure to check that out. It can help you to get rich and earn a lot of experience just by standing. Alright, once you have everything, equip the best gear you have then you can start the hunt now. I recommend you to go with 6 points is good enough. If you wish to go for 9 maximum points for even higher chance, yes, you can do that. As for the difficulty, select based on your gear capability and of course, the higher difficulty, the better item power level drop. In the hunt, just look for the purple glowing door and beat the ancient pestilent conjurer. It is very easy boss, but you have to act quickly otherwise the enchanted necromancer will summon his kids to have fun with you. So quickly rush to him after you touchy touchy the button and active whatever you have to finish him. You can also one shot instant kill the boss by using torment quiver, equip an item that can add soul. For me, I use soul bow with dynamo and chairman and make sure to gather some soul before you enter the boss arena. Charge up at least one stack of dynamo, active torment quiver, then charge shoot to finish the boss and tada! Yes, your gilded item. Pick it up and to the next door. Alright guys, I hope this ultimate guy can help you to farm gilded hub bow and other gilded gears much faster. And don't forget to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button, it is free! I will be making more Minecraft dungeon videos, so happy hunting, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.